wanted to provide a missing chapter to the problem with NFTs. This is about the intellectual property and other legal issues that you might face if you're minting or selling or buying NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Many people don't realize that when they are buying a non-fungible token, they're only buying a token representing a particular piece of digital artwork. They're not obtaining intellectual property rights or other legal rights in the artwork that they're purchasing. So let's back up. Copyright is one of the core legal rights that can exist protecting non-fungible tokens. Now, if you have a digital piece of artwork, like a drawing or a video, and a copyright owner or the creator of the work makes that into an NFT, typically that creator is not actually selling copyright to the work. They're going to be selling simply the right to own that particular digital copy. This is like if a photographer sold prints to their photograph. The purchaser of that print would have ownership of that particular print, but would not have copyright rights in the actual photograph that was being taken. One of the key differences between having ownership in a particular asset or particular copy and having copyright ownership is that the copyright owner is the only person who has the right to exclude others from using and making copies of a particular work of art. For example, if the person who minted the NFT is the copyright holder and they do not sell copyright rights when they mint that NFT, that copyright holder could stop the purchaser of the NFT from making copies of the NFT by sharing it on social media, by making prints of the NFT, or by making adaptations or derivatives of that work. For example, if someone had purchased an NFT representing a particular script of Dune, that would not enable those purchasers to use derivatives of that particular work, such as making a mini series around that work. This is a problem that arose recently. And again, there can be other legal issues beyond copyright that also arise and can affect rights to non-fungible tokens. So for example, if I were to mint a non-fungible token showing my face, I would have to also potentially consider what rights there are in right of publicity in my image. So when somebody purchases the NFT containing my image, even if they were to obtain copyright licenses, allowing them to do certain things with that NFT, like reproduce the NFT, there might be other legal rights like the right of publicity that they would need to obtain in order to distribute that NFT in certain ways. Other rights that could come into play are trademark rights. So for example, if somebody were to mint an NFT showing a popular brand on the NFT without the permission of that brand holder, that could lead to confusion among consumers as to who is the source or sponsor of that particular good. It might confuse consumers into believing that the trademark holder had some responsibility for that NFT, and that could violate trademark law. So if somebody were to produce an NFT that contained either a trademark from somebody else, an image of another person, or other legal rights, for example, uh, if the NFT contained copyrights of somebody else, like having an image that somebody else created embedded into the work that's being minted, all of those things could mean that that original right holder could stop the NFT from being produced and disseminated, at least as a legal matter. Now you might say, well, once these things are minted on the blockchain, they're out in the world, there's nothing you can do. That's not always true. Typically, when an NFT is minted on the blockchain, the digital asset is not actually included on the blockchain itself. Typically, the blockchain only includes a URL pointing the user to a place where that digital asset is stored elsewhere on the internet. Typically, this is stored in a place uh, that would be a centralized database that's subject to a takedown request, for example, under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA. The DMCA allows copyright holders to issue takedown notices to any platform where a user posts content that has copyrighted information in it. So for example, if you post something to YouTube that you don't have the rights to, 
the copyright holder can issue a DMCA takedown notice to YouTube and ask YouTube to remove the content. Typically, platform holders will have incentives to immediately remove the content upon a request from the copyright holder. So again, these NFTs typically don't contain the actual image or video file that you're selling in the blockchain itself. Instead, it will point the user to information often stored on a centralized database subject to takedown. So if you're a copyright holder and your work gets included without your consent in an NFT that's minted by somebody else, what can you do? You can often reach out to the platform that's hosting that NFT and ask them to take the content down. If you purchased an NFT and you believed that you had rights to a copy of that item, and it turned out that the seller was not actually the copyright holder and did not have rights to produce that item, you might have legal rights for breach of contract against the seller of that item. Platforms tend to try to be very careful about this by asking people who upload and mint NFTs to make sure that they actually have the rights to produce that content. That would be the copyright in the work that's being made and also any right of publicity or trademark releases that are necessary uh, to include information like a logo or an image of another person. I hope this was a helpful primer and provided a bit of a missing chapter to the problem with NFTs. Please follow me on social media. I'm Krista Laser, and I hope to talk with you again soon. Thanks.